So you I hadn't spoken to him in I, years. By the way, I love Martin Lawrence. I love Cat Williams. I love Kevin Hart. I love Eddie Murphy. These are my brothers. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. I gotta ask you, have you, since <laughs> since all this stuff has happened, all these years have passed. That was a smart way Mar to get Mar Mar imaging. And Martin Lawrence, have you spoken to him? Do y'all have a relationship? I was supposed to go to his charity event, and um, I was out of town with my family, so. So you I, hadn't spoken to him in I, years. By the way, I love Martin Lawrence. I love Cat Williams. I love Kevin Hart. I love Eddie Murphy. These are my brothers. The, Mike Epps, I love you. We've had uh, um, amazing times as brotherhood. Like, you know what I'm saying? I know I'm saying that with an with a open shirt. And you like, mm, <laughs> don't, don't be saying you got <laughs> Not Mike. No, I did a movie called Roll Bounce with Mike. I, yeah, mm -hmm. yes, and, um, you did. You know, Mike, uh, Mike, Mike is Mike is amazing, man. I I oh really God. like I, my thing is like when I when, when I talk to people on this show and if you watch this show you know I, I love Phase Out too shout out to Phase That's my point now don't, don't mess around but I, I'm I'm just gonna say love the Faison. internet has taken over when it comes down to comedians coming up getting on the grind they don't go to a lot of these old places where y'all used to go in these old buildings and do y'all set up and and, and y'all get y'all y'all respect that way. Yeah. Now they can do like my boy uh Desi Banks, Country Wayne. Yes, they shout can, out they to can, them. So so they they come in a different way. Mm -hmm. Like like shout when it comes to down to these two different things, when I came into this game, I started to see that there was a schism, there was a split to where some would say, hey, they didn't come in the right way. Some would say No, wait, that's a, minute, like wait a minute, some mm -hmm. would say Hey, you know, these guys, you know what I'm saying? They good. Like Mike, I see him rocking with Desi a lot and Bubba Dub, that's my boy. You know, I'm just saying, like, like how do you feel when it comes down to the old uh traditional way that the comedians came into the game versus the way they do now and the money they make, cause they make some money. You see it. They're, they're amazing. Uh I think uh, Mojo, Mojo, shout out to Mojo, shout out to Desi, shout out to uh Country Wayne. Uh all I'd say is that please study the art of acting. Okay. Study the art of uh, it may not even matter. Because they they get numbers, they do, and, and and they have an audience that they're entertaining, and I respect that, and I respect the fact that they're doing their things. The thing is, is that like I just always wanted to be on screen with Denzel and and Eddie and and Martin and and and, and um, these guys are were just, just actors, you know what I mean, just uh, high level actors. And now you have to do other things, but you know. With the uh, technology that's going on, it's almost like saying, Charlie Chaplin, how do you feel about an actor that talks? You know, you got the new wave coming in. Charlie was amazing. But you got talkies now, they call it talkies. So the internet comedians, are they're the new version, they're the talkies of, of, of technology. So if you can't cross over with the talkies, then, you know, the moment... Uh, <laughs> it's kind of it's not funny, but it's kind of sad at the same time. But the moment Charlie Chaplin, they heard his voice, they didn't like it. Wow. And it messed his career up. And he stayed in the time of silent films. So I, I try to always um, embrace the new. Uh, stay classic. Stay amazing. Because that's timeless. And once you can be timeless, that means you can, can your spirit can go in any form of structure. I don't know how y'all gonna cut this up. I don't even know how y'all cut this up. Y'all like Brandon. See, they, they, put, they put headlines on the internet. Brandon no. Jackson's shirt is off and he hates Cat Williams. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm I didn't say that. No, I just want to, I really want to understand, like, because the when, what is do different. you say to them? Like, you know that you came from a no, different, I told, I you come you, from Nosca. What do you say to those yo, youngsters when, no, you, do, you, when say, you run I into say, them? I say study, study, study. That, study you do tell them that. No, no, I know. I, well, I, I, I've only ran into Mojo. Okay. And, and I encourage them uh, to uh, study film. And that's it. That's it. Okay. Because they all want to get, here's the scam of it. I'm on the internet and I'm blah, 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 blah. But then they all want to get in film. That's real. Now, now you're going to sit down for three months. You're trying to do your sketches. Now you got to do your sketches at a hotel room or, or your apartment or your, your thing, condo, while you're doing a film and learn all these lines. See, I write, produce, direct, all that stuff. I do all of it because Ben Stiller's my mentor. That's my boy. Yeah. I was going to ask you about it. Ben Stiller's my mentor. So I'm, I'm about, you know, I'm about the, the, you know, the white boys going in, typing while we in the club. They, they typing movies while we in the damn club. Wow. That's the shit I like. Excuse my language, but that's the shit I like. When we in the club, they, they're like, hey, bro, what are you? They're listening to everybody and typing movies. Wow. While popping bottles. 
hard. You know what I mean? They're making money like, okay, go Seth Rogen, all these guys, they're just having the best time ever. Feeling the culture while they're writing films for Paramount. Wow. That's what I'm used to. That's hard. That's, when, my, that's the class I come from. I love but it. But when things and times has changed so much where, like, I remember growing up back in the days, you didn't have Tubi. You didn't have people making their own film. You didn't have, it was, like, such, like, unattainable unattainable to just a regular Joe. It's like you had to go to acting class. You had to go get um, a certain, you had to go through certain things to get to where you are. Yeah. Now it's become a thing where, it, okay, you want to be in a movie? Okay, let's go. I got some cameras. I got this and that. Let me film this. And mm-hmm. then, pitch this to Tubi or whoever and get my movie out. Well, I believe that reaches the glass ceiling because at a certain time we start laughing at it and then we we want to see better. Faison said that you heard what he said. I can show you a Tubi movie right here. And he just showed you, oh man, he died this. And he showed me pretty mm-hmm. much how every uh, like low budget Tubi movie that hadn't been thought thro- through you know, thoroughly mm-hmm. is being pushed out there. Shout out to Tubi movies. Uh, <laughs> Are from you Michigan. too good? I, you from the Tubi world? Well, I'm from Detroit. So you pushing Tubi out there? You 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 pushing? No, I support young filmmakers that's, okay. that's trying to do their thing. Oh, okay, because they all from my city. By the way, we the number one uh, city that's putting out these movies. That really? Y'all seen. Yeah, sorry. Wow. But we well, when you did uh, Envy. You was a kid. You was that was I did Envy when I was like sixteen. That's right. Mm-hmm. So that was a time where when you think about it and you go back to that place versus doing something now, how would you go in and illustrate because you wasn't producing back then, of course, but how mm-hmm. would you go in today? How do you set it up far as when I see your tube it? when I see your tube film versus uh, you know, one of them ones that you know, my boy in right there. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Coop. You Shout know what I'm whoa, whoa. <laughs> what, what we got to do, we got to give the filmmakers time to learn how to make great films. They, okay. they, they, it's drug dealing turning to, to movies. You take your drug money and you put it into films. And and you can't down anybody because they didn't go to film school. They're just trying to make that money for their money. family. Yeah. You heard you made a million dollars over here, a million dollars over here. Excuse me, over Tubi. Uh, of course I'm going to you know, try. If I know I can make a way, that's one thing I love about our people. We will make a way out of no way. We be like, look, I got these cameras. I'm going to set it up and we're going to do the best we can. We're going to just get better as we go. The problem is, is that once it gets time to, uh, uh, when it gets down to the thing and they didn't expect for Tubi to be branded the way it is, because the way it is, is like the Black Network. Mm Mm-hmm. Not even Black Network. It's not even BET. It's like the the worst Black Network. Because it used to feel like it was all these bootleg movies I used to always see on Tubi. I used to hate and they watching made Tubi. billions of dollars. They made money, didn't Fox ain't going to you know get why? it if it ain't making money. They, listen, they made billions of dollars. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk.